we were already on a path to, to a new Cold War with China. That was happening before coronavirus. Coronavirus, of course, has accelerated that because what you have is this rising super, you know, this rising new power, China, that really does, um, you know, pose a threat to U.S., you know, uh, dominance over the whole globe as it's had for the last 20 or so years. Uh, and so that, you know, uh, scares American elites. So we've already been on that path. Uh, but what, right now, I think what you're seeing is a, an attempt by Donald Trump to redirect all of the outrage at him for really, you know, botching the response to coronavirus at China. And it's working. If you look at the polls of, of most Americans in both parties, they blame China. They're angry at China. They're like basically primed to support any sort of war, whether it's a proxy war or a real war against China. And then what you have in the Democrats is rather than saying, okay, let's be the adults in the room, this is insane, you have them trying to out hawk Trump on China, as we've seen in the last couple of days with, John, with Joe Biden unveiling his campaign strategy of saying, oh, you know, Donald Trump is too pro China and he let the Chinese. Uh, you know, have too much influence. And so it's going to, it's, it's very dangerous, of course, like you mentioned, for the world and internally in the U.S. It's, at the end of the day, this is like a completely racist narrative that's actually impacting Asian Americans across the U.S. We've seen hate crimes against Asian Americans go up. And for any of us to remember the feelings and, you know, after 9-11 and in the lead up to the Iraq war and in the years after the whole war on terror, you feel something really familiar here. Um, it's like it's like the new you know the war on terror has shifted to war on China. Uh, all the talking points have shifted to China as a part of the axis of evil, uh, and you know the big evil Chinese you know yellow peril menace um, is like the new big bad Muslims. Uh, and so if you see that what you know the kind of toll that's had on the world the last twenty years, you can imagine how much more devastating it will be to have this accelerated escalation between the U.S. and China going forward.